my name is Juliette Burton and I'm here at MCM Comic Con and we're going to be talking to the incredible people at VidFest UK. Yep, so uh, I'm in my Star Trek outfit. Apparently the red uniforms are notorious for dying quite early on in the episodes. Let's hope that doesn't happen here. I don't think Comic Con's too dangerous. Right, so I'm here with Chloe, and Chloe, uh, you're with Tom Scott, aren't you? I am, yes. I'm running his stand with all this lovely t-shirts and stuff. Yes, I didn't mean in a romantic way, uh, but that, that could be no. as well. No. No, okay. <laughs> no gossip here, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay, but you've got a lovely headband, so that'll make up with it anyway. Uh, so, Chloe, we chatted to you back in May, yes. uh, and we're back here now in October. Um, have you been very busy already this Fitfest? Seems to be, mostly setting up. We were here um, from five o'clock last night. Um, getting everything ready. Uh, we had to like build IKEA furniture, which is always good fun before a con. So yeah, quite busy. And now, as you can see, Tom's got queues and stuff. And yeah. And you're selling all the lovely merchandise. We are. Yes, we are. We've got uh, lots of new stuff to sell as well. So lots of new prices <laughs> to remember, which is always fun. What kind of projects has Tom been doing recently? Gosh. A lot. <laughs> um, he's a busy boy. He is. Off the top of my head, um, he's been working with um, a few brands. He's got a few uh, new videos out. All sketch comedy. His most recent video was the with the wonderful Chris Kendall. So, and, and is he working on anything for the near future? Oh, almost probably. <laughs> Pro he's but, uh, certainly probably. Yeah. Oh, but the big news is he does in fact have a book out now. Uh, the release date was yesterday or today. Yesterday, I think. Wow. Uh, available in all Waterstone stores. He's going on a book tour for the next week or two weeks. Interesting. So it's out in time for Christmas. You could say it's out in time for Christmas. What an amazing Christmas present you could get for somebody. Wouldn't that be wonderful if you've got any younger brothers or sisters or just pe anyone with a good sense of humour? Or for yourself, for yourself, for me. You could buy it for me. I need some more stocking fillers. So, Chloe, do you know the name of the book? The name is... She has it here. Art is Dead. By, uh, written by Thomas Ridgewell, illustrated by the wonderful Matt Lay, who is just off camera somewhere. Wow, and I think... It's full of comics and... More comics and more comics, <laughs> and then the end. <laughs> Ooh, ah, oh, this is an amazing. This is basically an advert for it. It is. Brilliant. We've become, I can't help it. We've gone all corporate. Oh well. Uh, so that's, that's hashtag sponsored video. <laughs> <laughs> so the panels here. Yes. Um, have you been to any of the panels yet? Uh, I've not. I've not had a chance to see any or be in any this year. But uh, last year I did get to enjoy Tom's panel, uh, an Ed's World panel, um, which is a cartoon that Tom helps produce or does produce completely, I forget. And uh, then I was on the Women on YouTube panel, which I believe we did discuss last year. Yes, Women on YouTube, very important thing, uh, supporting supporting equality and everything. Yes. Um, now, with panels, has Tom had any interesting experiences, do you know, with panels? Um, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember the things he told me. Nothing that I've seen, apart from um, when he was on stage once, one of his very own characters, Mrs. Johnson, who is a woman with a, head of a horse did interrupt him live on stage which is quite surprising for Tom since he usually plays her. It's quite a fictitious, surprising situation for a fictitious character to interrupt anybody but it's interesting. I mean yeah I would say so it was alarming for everyone involved. Was this like uh, had anybody given anybody some magic kind of um, I don't know some certain mushrooms or like a little I don't know a brownie of some kind? Oh, no one in that hall was sober. <laughs> So there you go, you heard it here first. Tom Scar does all his panel talks drunk. Uh, brilliant. Oh. <laughs> can't say that. Can't say it, it doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. He's, he's a very responsible, reliable, Absolutely. respectable citizen. Stay school, kids. <laughs> and buy his book to learn how to be as cool as him. Okay, so I'm now here with this incredible, uh, very, very important, very, very prestigious, and very, very respect respectable uh, person. It's Matt Lay. Now, Matt has uh, been the illustrator of Tom Scar's incredible book, Out for Christmas. Uh, Matt, lovely to meet you. Hello. And thank you for letting me come into your little booth. That's right. Um, you've, you've kind of created a Tom Scar book uh, fort. Yeah, it's getting a bit out of control. You know, yes, yeah, I'm absolutely. hoping I can arch it round over the top and then then the world, really. That's, First the table, then the world. That's that's an ambitious plan, uh, but Comic-Con, anything can happen at Comic-Con. Exactly. So um, I also appreciate the fact that you're wearing your wonderful little um, name badge. That's very nice. Um, no one knows who I am. Yeah, you said that somebody said off camera that people come up and say, uh, and you'll, you'll offer to sign the book, and they'll say, absolutely, yes, who are you? That's not, that's, that's kind of how it goes. That's not very nice. You're, you're the most incredible illustrator. These wonderful illustrations are, are all down to you. Now, how long have you been an illustrator? Oh, goodness. Um, 
I mean, I've been drawing for years and years and years and years and years. But um, I mean, I've known Tom for about three, three years now. Three years, maybe. Yeah. As a friend, as a colleague, as a, as a started, lover. Started as a friend, lover. We don't talk about that. Um, <laughs> that's off the record. Um, yep, absolutely. No one's watching this. <laughs> no. Um, and then I think I started working with him probably about this time last year. Uh, it's when when his game released, Cat Attack. And he wanted like a promotional video for that. So I he came to me and I animated that for him. And the rest is beautiful, shiny history. How was it working with Tom? It oh, fun? it's great. He's he's a lovely man, and I think it helped that we were friends first, because it was a very easy like. Uh, I think the first, because there's about 100 comics in the book, the first uh, the first 20 odd I was doing from home, and because they're let's face it, they're quite simple. It would be a case if I do a handful, send them to him, wait four hours for a reply. Yeah, can you tweak this a bit? Okay, do that in two seconds. Send it. Wait four hours again. So I just kind of, I think it was around last MCM, I just went, should I just live with you for a week? And we'll just power through them. And we got through all of them in like a week. I just sat in his office and went, how's this? Yep, good, cool, okay, done. What was it like living with him then? That was fine. It's it was fine. A lot of takeaways, because his house was being done at a, like fixed and he didn't have an oven. So a lot of pizza. And that's Mo not... Multiple times I've seen him put like Doritos in a pizza. And Wow. I Dur should not. <laughs> Doritos pizza. Are you hoping for some kind of sponsorship from Domino's? Sure. I mean, there's like there's space for a logo somewhere, like just a big Domino's logo there. We can get that in, or like. Or you could wear a sign, their sign on your on your yeah. uh, on your mat. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, Matt. That's and right, you, you also smell delicious. We're quite close back here. It's rather nice. That's good to know. Guys, it's the biggest star. Uh, I have to say, it's uh, it's the biggest star of Fifth Fest, uh, if not of the world, of the universe. Uh, no. No? No. That's what your mum told me. Well, yeah, but she's biased, so. <laughs> well, it is, nonetheless, Tom Scar. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. I, I managed to, someone said they wanted to film a vine, and I just, I yelled for their vine, and now I've thrown my voice out, like, two hours into the first day. And uh, now, obviously, Tom, a lot of people know of what you do. Uh, I mean, there's millions and millions and millions of fans out there who love what you do. Um, for the couple of people, say like my mum and dad, uh, who don't know what you do, my mum and dad don't know the internet at all. Sure. Uh, so if you could tell my mum and dad what it is that you Hi, do. Hi, mum and dad. Um, I, I do comedy. I'm a comedy writer and director, although that is subjective. Um, my sense of humour is internet. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not so regional. It's not like a British sense of humour or an American sense of humour. It's just an amalgamation of of all the different the the, the the internet style of humor so and that's me that's what i do i just i just but I, i'll write or direct anything cartoons uh comics games uh live action sketches whatever and your channel is pretty damn popular uh how many subscribers do you have uh i want to say 3.8 million i think oh, and none of them are my parents this unbelievable. is unbelievable unbelievable i know mum and dad get out of bed get on your the life out internet honestly <laughs> Uh, you obviously are a massive big, big hit here. You've had queues and queues of people uh, pretty much first thing today. Um, how is that? How are you handling it? Uh, I mean, it's fine. Like Friday, this is Friday, so it's really, really calm. Um, but you know, as long as there's always someone to meet, I'll, I'll, I'm happy to. I'm, I'm happy to stand here the whole time. Like I'm here to meet people, and yeah. So now let's talk about the most important thing, which is your content, because okay. you've been very, very prolific. Uh, is there anything that you have recently been working on that you'd like to be telling people about you can tell us about? Oh, there's so much. I mean, same shameless plug. I have my book that came out yesterday, so I'm flogging them like crazy here, uh, you know, and... It is a very cool book. We, uh, we spoke you. to Matt earlier uh, and chatted with him about it, and Chloe. Everyone's excited about this book. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I, 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 had, a, I had a bottle of wine to celebrate last night, and I woke up feeling terrible. So, you know, that's how oh, you do it. You're in the wars. You've got a hangover and you've got a throat and everything. Yeah, yeah, no, it's bad. It's, it's, I'm, I'm a train wreck today. It's really good. Go so, me. Um, moving away from the train wreck, yep. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, could you tell us about any other things other than the book? I mean, I'm, I'm working on loads of stuff. Um, I just had another meeting about um, having just finished this book. I've already had a meeting about... I, I signed a two-book deal uh, last year, so I've got to do another book now, and I don't know what I'm doing yet, so that'll be fun. Um, but I wanted it to be something a little different. Um, it's idea generation time. It really is. Um, I'm hopefully working on another game soon as well, um, because you know I'm, I'm just a writer. I'm just a write, I'm just an idea guy, so I can work on multiple projects at once. Because once I've had the idea. And um, you've done loads of panels in your time with mm -hmm. uh, all these different conferences, uh, cons, comic cons, all kinds of cons. Um, have you got any favourite memories from any of these panels? Any interesting occurrences or questions? Um, 
it, it's quite hard to say because they do kind of all blend into one. Um, you know, I never really plan my, 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 my stage appearances because then I get nervous. You know, if I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to say, I'll freak out. So my style is just to, is to improvise and get up there and just wing it uh, fully. But I, I don't know, like that's so... It's a huge question. Yeah, it of is. Of all the people you've ever met and all the panels you've ever done, how many do you think you've done number of panels? Uh, the number of, I, I probably spent about, I don't know, maybe, maybe like 10 hours of my life on stage now, uh, which is, which is quite a, 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 quite a, 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 quite a long way from the kid who almost passed out trying to read a report in front of his class in, during GCSE English. So that's nice. If you dream hard enough, it can, you can overcome your fears yeah, then, yeah? yeah? That's amazing. Well, maybe, maybe today uh, or this weekend at Comic Con, maybe that's the time that you'll have this amazing in uh, experience at, at the panel. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe there'll be. I mean, like, like there's not really such amazing experiences. It's just like hopefully nothing goes wrong. Um, I, I, I remember the bad ones. They, they jump out like easy when I'm super unprepared, and I'm not, I'm not making the room laugh. Those are, those really stick in the mind. Any that you want to tell us about? I mean, yeah, like sometimes, you know, a video will fall flat on its face because like, there's a reason now why all of, anytime I preview a video, it ends with just the word applaud now um, because people will just won't. Otherwise, you know, they'll be like, you know, and that's like, you need that up just to keep the energy alive in the room. And like, so otherwise the video ends and you go, there's the video. And people go, eh. People forget they're not watching it on their screens at exactly, home. Exactly. Like, yeah, like my audience so used to being like, eh, like, lamau, and then they <laughs> click away. Like, we need so, some direction, gentle guidance. Like, kind of, because I'm not, I'm not very good at going on stage and really hyping things up and being like, wow, guys, this is going to be amazing. So, yeah, I'm not my biggest fan, so it's hard to hype my own stuff. Maybe you need to hire a hype man. Like, like actually, though, yes. Yeah, okay, I, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll, I'll yep, hype you yep, up. Yep. Um, guys, this is the most incredible guy. It's the biggest superstar of the whole of Comic-Con. It's Tom Scar. Thank Whoa. you so much. Thank you. Well, I don't know about you, but that was Spank Myself Fantastic. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, why not check out some of the videos on some of those wonderful channels? And we'll see you back here at MCM Comic-Con in May.